Hello and welcome to the Mind Body Soul Experience in Olympia. I'm here on the Oracle Television stand. My name's Karen Kirkpatrick and I've managed to get some time with the most renowned palmist called Salim. Thank you for making some time to speak to me, Salim. Can you tell me a little bit about how is the festival for you so far? It's been very good so far. I've seen quite yeah. a few clients this morning yeah. and they've been very interesting and very satisfying as well. And the type of palm reading that I do, there's no time pressure because palm reading for me is a passion oh. and I really do it in depth and I, and I want people to understand that palm reading which I am doing is not what is known as traditional palm reading. Really? Where, where What's so different about it? Yeah, my palm reading is more like guiding people to identify their potentials and how they can go forward in life. And if there is something which is dragging them down in life, then I try and advise them that, look, these are the points that you want to take on and these are the points that you can improve and that is how your life can improve as well. That is how I do my palm reading. It's not like the traditional palm reading that at the age of 45 you're going to have an accident or at the age of 50 such and such is going to happen to you. That doesn't interest me. And I, when I do palm reading, very seldom I tell negative things to people. Yeah. Because I think that when you tell them the negative things, it plays on their mind and it drags them behind and it can also influence their life as well. So I, I want to read palms in the way in which people go home and say, I met Salim today and he gave me so and so advice and he, he sort of has opened an area of my life which I did not know about and then that can make them go forward. Like today, you know, I, I just read a palm of a lady who was at a crossroad, she didn't know what to do and I could, from her palm, I could guide her that if you do this particular type of thing, then you will be more successful in your life. Okay. So that helped there and that... And, and how do you get that by actually looking at the lines exactly or do you find that it's a combination of that and psychic there is intuition a, yeah. as well? There is a little bit of psychic which I've got, but... Uh, my main reading comes from the lines because the way palm reading works very briefly is that the current comes in your life from your head into your body and then it escapes from your fingers. Okay. So if you look at like a current coming in, so all your lines that you've got is then becoming a kind of a replica of what you're thinking is. So the lines change as far they as I was concerned? They yeah. do, yeah. All right, well it has to be asked, Salim. I know I'll put yeah. you on the spot here a little bit. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I, I can do that. Now that with palm reading, what do you you've prefer? got the left and the right hand. Yeah. The left hand is what you are born with. Yes. Right hand is what you have become. That's what I was taught before, yeah. yeah. So so that is it. So the left hand is like until you are until you are about the age of 16, 17, and then the right hand takes over because that's when you leave the nest yeah, 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 and yeah. come into the world. So which hand do you write with? This one. Okay, so if I look at your right hand, I would say that you've got a very clear palm here. That is a very positive sign. What that basically means is you, are not, you don't carry a lot of baggage in your life and you don't have so much negative energy in your life and you are sort of a kind of a person who wants to be and live for the moment and do things. And a very good fork you've got on your headline, which is a triple fork. Not many people have that fork. Oh, I used to think that was a bad thing to have a fork. No, there. no, that is excellent. That shows that as far as your mental attitude is concerned, you are very analytical. You can go forward, you can write, you can work for media as well, which is what you are yeah, doing. And I've got two books out. Oh, <laughs> excellent. There you go. You see, so you can write. So you've got that ability to see different types of life you know and, and your thinking is slightly different as well and if you go into show business you would do very well as well yeah. you know so if you haven't done that yeah. I would like you know well, do a we, we, yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> so that is another you know very important thing that you got in, in your palm as well and another thing that I can see quite clearly in your palm is that career wise you got a straight line so that means you will never be out of a job there will always be something to go on. And then there was a slight uh, change of career around the age of about 45, 48. If that is the age you've already reached or not, I don't know. And that was a slight adjustment where you were on a career and you said, no, I think I'm going to change my path now. And I'm going to do something which is slightly different and that has paid off for you. Yes. 
you know, and after 50, 50, 55, it is smooth sailing all the way. Fantastic. You know, so there you go, you know. Well, I'm not going to reveal how old I am on the internet, but that's very good to know. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. So Salim, do you ever find that you can also do health diagnostics through the palm? Yes, yes, I can. Because as I was talking to you before, I kept getting the words health diagnostic. Yes. So do yes. you find that that just comes through quite a lot for That's you? right. So when people come and they tell me that I'm not well and whatever it is, you know, then I can guide them and I can give them the positiveness that they can work on. So for example, if there's a person who is worrying a lot in their life, then I can, I can say to them, park your worries on the shelf and move forward because that is something which is dragging you behind. Yes. And then if there are signs in their palm which shows that they've got the ability to do it and they've got the will to do it, then I would re-emphasize that very strongly. Yeah. And also, by profession, I'm a pharmacist as well. Of course. So, you know, that helps people as well because I can guide them medically as well oh. what to do. You know, whatever I say, you know, makes sense to them. So it's quite interesting the way it moves forward all the time. Thank you so much. Well, we won't keep you from these clients. I know that you've got bookings back to back throughout the whole weekend. I do, yes. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. It's been a wonderful insight and thank you so much for my palm reading. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We're going to be back soon with another interview with one of the fascinating people here at the Mind Body Soul Experience. See you soon.